Hey guys, we are back with some more Halifax Tugboats franchise mode. And last time, I know that I said that uh, we need to stop making a habit of trading our players for veterans who, you know, may potentially uh, not work out for us. Well, <laughs> I'm doing that here, but uh, this is a trade that under normal circumstances, and these are definitely not normal circumstances, would not go through. So, if you take a look here, <laughs> the Nashville Predators are 16, 42, and 5. That is not normal, uh, especially for a roster like this when you see, you know, Yozy, uh, so let's start by overall, Yozy, Subban, Johansson, Forsberg, Neil, Smith, Ellis, you know, you'd think there'd be something good going on here, but there's no... <laughs> Oh, geez, there's no goaltender at all. Um, so what we're going to do here, we are going to trade for P.K. Subban. Yep, they want to give him up. He's 91 overall, so he is definitely a, yeah, he's a top two defenseman. He is a right-hander, which we need. Um, so we're going to add him to this deal. Although, actually, before I do that, one thing I want to show you guys real quick because it's relevant to this deal. Vancouver is 39. 18 and 4, and you're wondering how is that relevant to this deal? Well, I'll show you. Um, so, we're going to put Subban in here. That's the only thing we're adding to Nashville side. And for us, we're going to be adding, so we're going to go to defenseman here, uh, Cody CC because he is actually not that happy here. <laughs> uh, his ice time has been minimal, and uh, he's, he's dropping in almost every category. He's an 81 overall now, and his salary is does not match that, and he's not too pleased, and he's just going to keep going downhill, and we don't need that. So, we're going to trade Cody Cece to the Nashville Predators, because they want him as well. Uh, next asset, we're going to be trading. They don't want him, but we're going to be trading Ty Ratty, because he as well <laughs> is uh, not too pleased here. And he carries a salary of 3.7 mil for the next two years, and he's dropping in almost every single category. He says 79 overall. He needs a new start, so we're going to put him in there, even though they don't, want, they don't want him, but he adds a little little value to the deal. Uh, I'm really stuffed. Oh, man. Um, next up, going in the rookie skaters. We're going to sort by trade value. We're going to trade... Uh, this Galiev guy, because it's top six low, and I know he's a 75 overall, but I don't see us using him, honestly. And then, now for the remaining two things, we're going to go into draft picks. We're going to be giving up Vancouver's first. That's why I showed you Vancouver's record, because they're a really good team, so they're probably, they're probably going to be somewhere towards the end of the first round when we get to the draft. So, that's why I don't have a problem giving this up. Oh, hold on, boys. I gotta blow my nose. All right, we're back. Sorry about that, boys. I uh, <laughs> have been really congested all day. And we are also going to be adding the second round pick from tw 2023. And uh, <laughs> I know, boys, by trading for P.K. Subban, that he's a rental player. And we're probably not going to be able to re-sign him, unfortunately. But that's the way it goes. We're gambling because, <laughs> well, first of all, See season 81, we definitely need a right-handed defenseman to replace him, and P.K. Subban is available for the Nashville Predators, and he's a perfect rental for the playoffs if we can, you know, make it there. <laughs> so we are going to do this trade. There you go. We have P.K. Subban on our roster. <laughs> so, um, yeah, th there you go, boys. We officially have that top two defenseman that we've been looking for. So... Let's go into defense here. Uh, let's move... Uh, I believe Pouliot's actually leading our team in scoring, so we're going to keep him up here. And we're going to move Vineo down, and then we're going to move Jones over here, Letty down here, Pouliot over here, and then finally, P.K. Subban... <laughs> wrong person. P.K. Subban in the right slot on the top defensive pair with Derek Pouliot. Very nice. That's looking like a much better defensive core. Now, uh, power play. Hmm. What do I do here? What do I do here? I want to keep Perry on the power play. 
I guess I'll take Vineo off. He hasn't really done much. <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, put PK Subban in there. Uh, put him in here as well. Oh, he's already there. Um, oh, come on. <laughs> I backed up way too many times. All right. Uh, let's go to edit, edit lines then. Yeah, we got to get this done. <clears throat> so, go back to defense. Come on now. Load up, stupid game. Thank you. Uh, special teams, four-man power play, switch Vanyo and Subban, penalty kill, uh, should we put Subban, yeah, you know what, he's too good, he's way too good, we gotta put Subban on here somewhere, <clears throat> yeah, he's way too good, uh, I think I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna replace him with Vanyo, yeah, yeah, because Vanyo hasn't do done too well, uh, let's put, let's put Harrington up here with Subban, actually, did not mean to do that. <laughs> uh, there you go. So Harrington and Subban it will be. Uh, Jones and Puglia. And then replace Vanio with Subban. There you go. And Hansik's actually an 88 overall now. He's a second line forward. What do I do about that, boys? <laughs> um, I think I got to move him up. Raquel, but then we got to move Perry down because he doesn't like Hansik at all. Or Hansik doesn't like Perry at all. Uh, let's see. Would I be able to do that? Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. I want to see if that works here. Uh, and then Kozlov would be in the middle, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Kozlov would be in the middle. Bittner. All right, so hopefully that works out. <clears throat> and uh, we're we're a much better team now, boys. I think we are a much better team. Uh, we gotta do, yeah, we gotta do this. Uh, Vineo right here. There you go. Uh, Letty down here, switch these two. Switch them, and then put Subban. Just doing this real quick, boys. Uh, three on three. You get up here, uh, over here, switch you. Extra attackers, <clears throat> that's fine. Shootout, that is fine. Okay, so we now have a stack team, I would say. We have solid goaltending. We have a very solid forward core, very deep. And a amazing top four defensive core. And plus, uh, Harrington and Vine wait half shabby either. Although they've been pretty awful defensively recently. Um, and even offensively for Vanio, but hopefully they can uh, find their groove here towards the end of the regular season. So, this is our final roster <laughs> for this year, boys. We are going into the, uh, well, hopefully going into the playoffs with this roster. And if we don't, then man, there's something wrong with this team <laughs> because we are stacked now. So, uh, let's actually simulate this first game with or uh, long simulation with this first game with our new roster. Let's go, boys. First period. All right, nothing, nothing. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Second period. There you go. Uh, McDonough and Hartman. All right, so come on, boys. Third period. We're taking it to overtime. Corey Perry, but then Jesper Fast. Come on, boys. Shootout and Haglin. L Haglin, <laughs> apparently. Uh... Whatever, it's still a point. <clears throat> as long as we're getting those points against those Eastern Conference teams, we should be fine. All right, we're back once again. Jesus, my nose is playing up. You know, um, you know that feeling you get when uh, <laughs> you're you're talking and then you randomly, all of a sudden, you know, just <laughs> feel like you're choking on something. Yeah, that's the feeling I'm getting when you're when you're so congested like that. All right, so <laughs> let's do the first game after the trade deadline here. All right, so first period. Saad with two goals. Very nice. Second period and third period. There you go. Subban, man. Perry and Kozla. Very nice. <clears throat> All right. This team's looking promising, boys. This team is looking promising now. I'm liking it. Let's go up all the way to the end of the regular season. Because uh, I'm feeling really confident in this particular roster. So, hopefully we can... Clinch a playoff spot. <laughs> Alright, set ticket prices. Let's do that. Uh, you know what? Those are all good. Whatever. 
I don't even know why I have owner mode on. I guess the only reason is for the relocation, but I don't really do any of the other stuff here. Uh, we'll increase season that uh, season ticket advertising here <coughs> for next season. Get this up here. There you go. All right, fifty-seven percent towards the season ticket advertising. Okay. Uh, so there you go. Five to three win against the Buffalo Sabers. Three nothing win against the Florida Panthers. One nothing win against the Boston Bruins, <laughs> and of course Philadelphia Flyers break it up. But I'm I'm feeling much better with this team now. Now that we have PK Subban, that was that was I must say that was a great trade because both Ratty and CC were unhappy. They wanted CC. Uh, they wanted the first round pick that we had from Vancouver that will probably go somewhere towards the end of the first round. You know. So, I feel like that was a really good trade, even though we may not actually probably like not. I'm 99 percent sure we're not going to be able to resign Subban, boys. I know that, but that that for the sakes of the playoff run, that was a good trade. Nine to one win against Boston. There you go. Shootout loss against Colorado. All right, there's a point from the Western Conference. Washington. There you go. Five to two. We're finally winning these games, boys. Finally. 39, 27, and 8 is our record. <clears throat> I, if, if that doesn't equal a playoff spot, then I don't know what is. 4-2 um, <laughs> uh, to two loss against Calgary. 7-6 six, to six loss against San Jose. My God. Come on, boys. Get back in the winkle. Oh, no. Come on. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Please don't do this to me. Beat the Islanders. That's a key win right there. If we can get it. Yes. Thank God. All right, three to one. Don't do this to me. You know what? I'm stopping the sim. I'm stopping the sim. Stopping the sim. I, need to <laughs> I need to check where we are in the standings. This is way too... Uh, this is closer, way closer than it should be. <laughs> uh, okay, good. We're in a wild card position. These next few games... Ooh, the Rangers too. If we could beat the Rangers. I mean, they're, they're a pull ahead of us, so... If we could beat them, then we can almost guarantee ourselves a playoff spot. Come on now. First period, boys. All right. Hartman and Fast. Once again, second period. All right. Perry and Eakin. Come on, boys. At least get a point out of this game. Oh, man. JT Miller. Rats. Yeah, the Rangers are pretty good this year in the sim. All right. Come on. Sim to next game. Are we still in the wild card? All right, I think we're still in the wild card. Yeah, we're still in the wild card. Good. And uh, Carolina actually is in a wild card as well. So that means the uh, the Atlantic division is not as strong as the Metropolitan division, which is good in our case. Then we can uh, clinch the playoffs here. Uh, Detroit, we need to beat them. Come on, boys. First period. Yes, Corey Perry, the veterans, stepping up. Second period. Oh, my God. <laughs> Burgundy and Henrique. Third period, uh, Nyquist with the empty net. Oh my god, uh, we're cutting it close, boys. We're really cutting it close. Ah, oh, this is this is too close. This is way too close. This is way closer than it should be. <laughs> All right, we're coming down to the last game of the season. I'm saying we need a win right here. I mean, I know the Islanders are eight eight points ahead of us, but hold on, hold on. What would be the circumstances in which we make the playoffs and in which we don't? So, we have 90. Carolina has 89. Yeah, we have to win this game. Uh, and we have to hope that if we don't win this game, that Carolina also loses their last game. And then Atlantic Division. Yeah, it's really tight. It's a really tight race for the wild card, man. We need to win this last game. We need to. I'm calling it right now. If we don't win this game, we're not in the playoffs. I'm just calling it. There's no there's no way that all those other teams would lose their last games. All right, come on now. All right, come on, boys. Let's do this. First period. Oh, no. David Savard coming back to bite us. Second period. <laughs> Ryan Strong, but Bjorkstrand gets one. All right, we're doing a slow sim for this last period, boys. I don't trust this situation at all. Resume simulation. Come on, boys. Come on, Halifax. This is the playoffs on the line right here. This one period. At least take it to overtime. At least take it to overtime. Get the two points preferred. 
Get the two points preferred. Come on. Come on, Halifax. Get a goal. Pepper the shots on that. I don't care what you got to do to get a goal. Just get a goal. <laughs> Draw a penalty. Someone, please. PK Subban slap shot from the point. Come on. Someone. Please. <laughs> Halifax, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me, Halifax. Please don't do this to me. Oh, my God. Yes. Trevor Hansick. Trevor Hansick. <laughs> Please take it to overtime. 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 Come on. Come on, boys. Shut her down. 55 seconds. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, that that got... Oh, that got... Wait. This is... Why are we always, like, literally every season, <laughs> we are, like, this close from not making the playoffs? It always comes down to the last two... <laughs> one or two games. <sighs> All right, overtime. Here we go. And Sezika sends it immediately. <laughs> 11 seconds in. Oh, my goodness. All right, we have to hope that the Carolina Hurricanes did not win their game. Yes, yes, we clinched. Okay. Ooh, okay. All right, that's a relief. That's a relief. <laughs> We're in the playoffs once again, boys. But for how long? Because, oh, man. 91 points. I thought we were going to do much better uh, after that trade for Subban, man. I really did. Oh, man. We're always just on the brink <laughs> of making the playoffs or not. So, I guess we'll take a look at the final season stats for the players. But, I mean, my God. Uh, it's just every single one of the past two or three seasons has been too close to call for the playoffs. <laughs> oh, my God. So, Pouliot with 60 points. My God, what a year he had. Uh, Derek Stepan, 60 points, not bad. P.K. Subban leading our team in points. I don't know how much of those came from Nashville. Uh, Paul Bittner, pretty solid. Bjorkstrand, wish he did better. Uh, Perry, good. Uh, Letty, good. Connolly, excellent. Uh, he's growing for sure. Raquel, pretty good. Uh, Saad, wish he did a bit better, but he was put in defensive responsibilities. Trevor Hansick, he's going to... I really, really hope he jumps... Oh, excuse me, to a uh, <laughs> to a 90 this next offseason. Uh, Meyer, he's at an 83. He's been scoring a lot in the fourth line. He doesn't he doesn't even have power play time, for God's sakes. <laughs> uh, Kozlov, he's at an 85. He's growing. Hartman, 25 points. Hudon, 24. Uh, Jones, Vineo. Yeah, so... And uh, Harrington's plus minus actually got a little bit better from um, when we were looking at the trade screen. So our team has definitely improved. Definitely. Uh, now let's take a look at the goaltender stats. Not the greatest, but you know, I guess, you know, we're in the playoffs. So it doesn't matter at this point. All right. Let's check team stats just to see where we're at. See if we need to make any changes. Uh, let's see. Goals for per game. We were fourth. Goals against per game, we uh, are third in the division, or tied for third with Philly. Uh, power play got last, <laughs> uh, but barely last. I mean, right behind New Jersey, but still, I wish that was a lot better. Penalty kill, we are second, so... We're good in the uh, important category, in the important special team there, the, the penalty kill. But I mean, power play is just as important as well in some games. So, ooh, and actually, <laughs> we, we're we're one of the only teams in our division to play 82 games. But uh, we, it says we have clinched, so I don't think we have to worry about that. Um, <laughs> man, it's just it's just so that was way too close. I must say that was way too close. So. We'll wait until the regular season's over to turn on injuries and all that. And we'll see who we have in the first round. All right. Let's see. Who do we have? Uh, Yeah. There was no way we were winning the presence this year, owner. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right. The Washington Capitals. That's going to be brutal. I wonder if they still have Ovechkin. Uh, so let's, before I forget, turn injuries on. And auto-rotate goalies off. Because the computer likes to do that once in a while. And uh, we're going to check to make sure that Corpusalo is in net. I believe he is. That says a 93 of goaltending. So just going to double check though. Because you never know. 
goaltenders. Yes, he is. All right. And, I mean, our backups isn't half bad as well if Corpusala, God forbid, goes down. Uh, let's see. I mean, we kind of just have to roll with these lines as they are. Because... <laughs> Yeah, we, let's just let's just roll with these lines and see what happens, I guess, because there's really nothing else we can do. <laughs> we just kind of got to let it play out and uh, see how it goes. So, that being said, I will see you guys in the next one when we face the Washington Capitals in round one of the year six playoffs, I believe it is now. Jesus. All right, see you guys then.